And back to the regular program here. Got some new stuff to add to the truck. Finally took the fuel pump off so I can switch it around how it's supposed to go. And I got some fittings to put on it for a regular fuel hose to push over. So we'll get that squared away. Got this retro cool looking oil filter from eBay. Cool old box, so that's partly why I got it. So I'll drain the canister, get that old crappy filter out of there. Slap this new old stock one in. Be good there. And I had one big, huge, long, heavy-duty battery cable, so I cut it in half and then put a few another ends on it. So we got a positive and a negative cable ready to go for nice heavy-duty 6-volt setup there. Should work just fine. Then I can utilize the original battery location here, run the two cables along the frame inside there, and one on the starter bolt for the ground, then positive here, and that should be perfect. So let me get some more goop on this, bolt it down, get this old fitting out, put these in, and so on and so forth. And we will be even closer to getting this thing up and going. Got the canister opened up. And there's not even a filter in it. But on the bright side, it's nice and clean in there. So put this retro filter in there. And then it will uh, actually have something. At least it's not dirty and I don't have to clean it out. So that's good. Well, back from another trip to town for some more stuff. Got some 3 8 fuel hose and some clamps. And got this stuff to throw into the gas, because why not? Might as well treat these things right. Switch for the dash. Some wire so I don't have to cobble in five different colors and sizes. And, as usual, a bunch of good old gear oil that'll probably all leak out. But we're going to try it anyway. Probably only going to put some in the transmission. Because the uh, motor will turn it, even though it's in neutral, a little bit. And then get this thing up and running, get it tuned right so it runs good, idles good, all of that. You know, make sure there's no issues. And then check the fluids elsewhere like transfer case, the axle, stuff like that. Not going to worry about the rear because we're not driving it with any sort of power, nor does it have axle shafts. So we're fine there. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to start with is uh, run fuel line. We got these fittings in as we uh, did before. Run one up to here and then run one back. Probably gonna go into the cab with that. Got that in from out in the snow, so that's mostly melted off. So yeah, the battery cables are set. And then after the fuel line is done, um, wire in that switch somewhere probably that hole there that smaller one got to run the power wire into the switch and then on the other terminal run the wire out to the coil which is uh you know pretty straightforward so let me get this stuff knocked out and we'll check back in throw a battery in this thing and see how it cranks over with these nice cables well we're making it here got the fuel line run this one here goes up to there, and then this one is still loose down on the floor. I think I'm just going to stick it into a gas jug for now, wait on the boat tank, see what happens. And then got a power wire going from here into the one terminal of the switch, and then on the other terminal, this wire comes out and goes to the coil. So that is good like that. Clean these up a little bit later on with uh, some more zip ties. But for now, we're just in the testing procedure. And then clean them up under there too later on. But I got a switch there on the dash so we can shut it on and off in case anything gets exciting. So I think all that's left now is, let's see, dump some gear oil in that transmission so it's not uh, completely dry. So the... Uh, input will turn and then throw a battery in it see how these cables work 
If uh, she cranks over good and fast with the six volt, then uh, yeah, we'll proceed to uh, give some gas to it. See if it'll sit here and idle and run good. And if not, we'll tune it in, get it running good, and then add fluids and see if it moves. So yeah, we're down to the wire now. Really good, really exciting. Oh boy, we're getting dangerous now. Got the gas can with the hose in it, ready to go. Carried the battery in, she's hooked up and uh, fits in the original holder pretty good. And then I brought my tripod in. I had to wander out in the snow in negative 15 and find it. I guess I left it outside when I filmed the uh, New Year's burnout video, but she's just about good. So get it set up here and we shall see what happens get a little bit of fuel in the squirt bottle and yeah we'll try out the uh starter with the cables and battery and everything see if that's a good setup i'm sure it would be because uh they love the heavy cables can't stress that enough so let's uh see what happens Okay, well, I had her going there a little bit, not too ideal, so uh, I think we can do better. What I've gone ahead and done is brought a 12 volt battery in, hooked it up there, and we're gonna run the ignition with the six volt. I undid the wiring from here so we're not feeding into the system with 12 volt. So we're just direct to the coil. But uh, yeah, the six volt was getting pretty we cranking this thing over so much you know it requires more cranking when you gotta play with the timing and get them tuned right so uh before we completely kill it gonna just do this and then uh, we'll have more cranking power with the 12 volt for now and then switch back later on after she's dialed in so uh anyways let's give this thing a try i did uh loosen the distributor some more and mess with it a little bit and I think uh, I got it a little bit better than before so we'll uh, hook power up there and see what happens <laughs> Not bad at all at least she's uh sitting here idling doesn't want to without the choke and uh, i can't bring the idle down at all i've 
mess with the mixture screw a little bit doesn't seem to make a difference so uh yeah we'll have to get into that more but i uh stood here with the distributor playing around a little bit and got it to sound pretty good by ear of course that was with it you know kind of on a high idle with the choke but uh it doesn't sound all that bad and you bring up the rpms bring them back down she sounds good and healthy no knocking no in anything and uh i put more coolant in it and it turns out the water pump is weeping pretty good so gonna need a water pump no big deal at least the uh radiator is uh holding so far so could be worse but uh definitely moving in the right direction sounds a lot better than the first attempt and yeah she sounds really healthy super loud i was wearing uh earplugs definitely sounds like a hot rod motor so makes sense that they ran these girls on bonneville back in the day these 270s are quite a motor for sure and then i played around with uh seeing if it will go into gear and uh couldn't get it to go into gear just wants to grind of course uh you know i thought it might be the rpms i can't bring the rpms down enough to uh get it in gear even with the clutch in so i shut it off put it in first gear and then held the clutch all the way down and hit the starter and it creeped ahead so that tells me that uh we don't have a uh, a clutch yet might have to uh play with the adjustment on that or uh see what else is up the pedal sure feels good it feels nice and strong feels like it's pushing good so not quite sure what we got going there but still moving in the right direction but anyways i guess i'll uh you know keep going on it see what i can figure out have to uh locate a water pump get that solved so we don't have a leak and then get fluids completely topped off and then run it for longer make sure she's got no issues and then play with uh carburetor stuff see if i can get that idle to come down see if i can get it to run without a choke on and figure out the clutch so uh yeah until we can dive into that it's good to hear this thing fire up finally and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and until the next episode where we make more happen i will see you guys later